So you want to add a subwoofer to your car, but you don't want to break the bank. Let's see if this works, you know? It's worth a shot. What you'll need is a subwoofer, as well as a kit, a wiring kit. I'll link it below. Um, 18 bucks off Amazon, $100 for the subwoofer. Let's see if we can find a way to get power to where we need it to go. The first step is to find a path. So every car is different. So the way you get power to your subwoofer is going to look different for everybody. The way I did it is right there through that wire harness. There's like, you know, the, the, the boot there. What I did was I drilled a hole through there. If you can actually see it. Um, there's an electrical harness, you know, going through there. But instead of taking out all the tape down there, I decided, well, I might as well just drill a hole and push it through. Uh, super sketchy. So, you know, go slow. Make sure you're not, you know, hitting all the wires down there and cutting those. And, uh, but slowly but surely used a, a bigger drill bit and a bigger screwdriver and whatnot. And then it went through. So now we can get power to the subwoofer. So now I just pull it through if I can. Of course, I leave myself the slack over here. I had to take this uh, out, of, move this out of the way in order to get to where I needed to send the wire through. But this is going to connect to my battery. Next, got to run the wire. I got my power wire right there, coming over here, down there. It's going to run underneath eventually. Yes, there's wire nuts, but uh, you'll see. Next is to attach the remote lead. I already used my handy dandy wire strippers. So right there in the smallest one, the smallest one's up here. Jump, clip that. Do the same thing with my remote lead. And uh, let's connect these two. The way I do it is this. Get these. Twist this one around so this is longer. Oh, Aaron, can't see nothing. Can't see nothing. Can you, can, can you see it now? You still can't see. What am I even doing? I can't even see. Then twist that back on itself. <laughs> oh, what a video. What a video. Twist that back on itself. But I forgot to do my heat shrink. All right, let me show you what I was trying to show you. Strip some off of one end. Strip some off the other end. Get your shrink wrap on one end. Now here's what you do. You twist these like so back on each other and then twist it this way. Now you probably want to do a little bit more than just that. Have it a little longer when you do it. And then cover it up. Next, for the shrink wrap, use a lighter, use a, you can use a heat gun. You could use a hair dryer, maybe, probably not. This one has a little bit too big for this wire, but it's just what I had on hand. Just as an example, there you go. Nice and strong. So now that you've made all your connections, your power goes to the red, the ground goes to black. I got some of the paint off, so that way it would be metal on metal, not metal on paint. Uh, better ground connection. These plug into the back of my head unit. Yours would probably be very similar. And then they just plug in right here. Now these are your controls that you have here. You can control the crossover, the EQ, different things like that. Uh, you mess with that and see what sounds best for your system. But now that we got it all connected, let's try it out. Okay, so I got everything hooked up. Got in my USB with some copyright free music, you know, we gotta do it. Let's see what it sounds like with the sub. You can hear it a little bit, but let's try a different one. It's my tweeters. It's my tweeters still going strong. Still going good. It's so crazy. It's such a difference. Okay, so since my phone can only pick up so much, I'm gonna try. Let's see if this guy can pick up a little bit more. Let's try a better one.
If you want to know what it sounds like, you really have to make sure you have some good headphones or a subwoofer yourself hooked up, good sound system, a phone, a laptop, it's not going to do it justice. The reality is with this thing is it actually sounds better in real life than you can even record. At least it sounds better than I can record, that's for sure. It's not the subwoofer that's going to wake the neighbors and wake up the street and make enemies, right? You know, but hopefully you're not one of those people. Nevertheless, it is a solid subwoofer. Right now it's on sale for like $85 as of the making of this video. I got it for about 100, 110, something like that. The price fluctuates, a little bit of inflation. I will say one thing, I have it where it's right behind my passenger seat and so it's so accessible. If it were in the trunk of your car, it might be less effective, but also you can just turn it up. I don't have it turned up all the way, nor do I have it turned up all the way on my head unit. So there's a lot more that you can push out of this little speaker, uh, this little subwoofer, and it does a lot. I hope this is helpful to you. If you're doing something like this, let me know what you would have done differently. But thanks so much, and remember, you can do it.